Hi guys, Wandersun here. I'm bringing a project I made a few days ago as an extra thank you to Patreon supporters. Thanks to everyone who contributed to the Pi One Dark project. This is a simple interface to speed you up in creating smaller projects that has multiple pages and an animated menu. This project was created using QT Designer, where you can find the style sheet of this project inside the widget called Central Widget. This project has an animated menu on the left that contains two layouts, so you can add widgets both at the top and at the bottom of the menu. And to export the changes made in QT Designer to your interface is very simple, as I will show in the video. Just go to the Form menu of QT Designer. After that go to the view python code option and replace the existing ui underscore main.py file. Open the file ui underscore main.py where we will replace the code header by the qt core file, which contains all the PySide 6 classes. It is always interesting to use a single file with the classes, because in case you want to migrate for PySide 2 for example just change one file. Use Qt Core on all files that need the Qt modules for it to work perfectly. Inside the file main underscore functions dot pi we have all the setups of our interface, where we load the objects from ui underscore main dot pi for easy access and just below we configure the widgets, starting with the user image found inside the PNG folder in images. You can exchange this image for your photo or your project logo. Just below we have the creation of our menu buttons that uses a custom button, where we first create the expand and collapse menu button, then we create the home page button and finally the settings button. You can create as many buttons as you like. Below each button we are connecting functions to them, by pressing the F12 key, we can go directly to the function that is called, in this case we will go to the function of expanding and collapsing the side menu. On the home page button I created a function called show home, this function is responsible for call another's functions, the first is to execute a function called reset selection which will remove the selection of all the buttons from the menu, below we have the default function of Qt to change pages, which in this case is called set current widget, this function is calling the widget page 1, which in this case is the home page that we created in Qt designer. And finally we call the function set active, which will cause the clicked button to be selected, that is, it will have its appearance changed and will be different from the other buttons. In the show settings function, we do the same step as the previous function, just changing the applications page to page 2, which in this case is the application settings page. The Reseat Selection function is responsible for navigating all the left menu child buttons and deselecting them all, marking the set active as false. And to finish we have the last options which is to say in which layout we will add the side menu buttons, in this case in the top or bottom layout, as it is displayed in our interface. See that as shown in the video we can choose where the button will be displayed just by changing its parent layout. As shown I can move the settings button to the top or bottom of the app easily. The aim of this project is to be simple. I hope this extra project can help you with smaller projects that need to be created quickly. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel, we'll have more news soon. Thanks to Patreon supporters who, even with less videos here on the channel, continue to support the projects. Thanks again and a great weekend for everyone. See you in the next video.